Hi Aries, welcome to my channel Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love reading. All right, so Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. All right, um, so Aries, uh, big announcement, big fun, exciting announcement. Stick with me till the end of this video. All right. Um, also, I'm going to be going into your overall energy, your person's overall energy their current energies, blockages between the two of you, how they feel about you, potential outcome, obstacles, and advice. So stick around. All right. So Aries, your overall energy, ooh, you have round and round and not for you. So this person may have been putting you in cycles or false starts or just round and round, like no seriousness, no commitment. Actions don't match their words, in and out, energy, all right? Um, I feel like you're starting to realize that this just isn't for you. This it's enough is enough here. You're, you're over it. Yeah, this one that's come out before regeneration. I feel like your person not so much wants to give up on this. <laughs> I feel like they may want some kind of transformation or a regeneration um, to this connection. We have TikTok, serendipity. And blessed. Oof. Uh, complete opposite energies here, Aries. Uh, keep in mind, you guys, this is a general reading. So I could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy and their energy is yours. It could be flip-flopped and reversed. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, under the deck overall or um, underlying energy here, clean it up. So your person may have caused some ruckus and you're kind of like walking away from it. And they want to clean this mess up, all right? I feel like it's almost saying, like, I feel like you're meant for me, Aries. I see the signs. I see the synchronicities. Please give me time. Please, you know, something with divine timing or in time, have patience or needing time. All right, so let's get into it and see what's really going on here. Current energies for Aries person. Page of Wands. And the tower it could be an age difference between the two of you. It doesn't necessarily have to be. I feel like your person may have been acting a little bit immature, caused a tower moment. There may have been some shocking news or a sudden change that came in. Um, and I feel like your person, because it's the page of wands, uh, there could have been some kind of sexual desires or passion, something along those lines, and it caused the tower moment. We'll keep getting into it, though. Current energies for Aries person. Well, there you are, Aries. Could be dealing with, um, <clears throat> sorry, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Six of Pentacles, and the Death card, Scorpionic energy. So transformation, regeneration, <laughs> ending brings new beginnings. So I feel like your person sees you in your power, I feel like they either they were breadcrumbing you, which could make you feel that round and round, false starts, empty promises, you know, full of shit, <laughs> basically. Um, I feel like you're kind of feeling like things were either not equal give and take, unbalanced, or they were giving to two, breadcrumbing you. Or you were, could be vice versa. I really feel like your person wants some kind of transformation. So if they were giving to two, I feel like they want things to change with that. They want some kind of balance here. What else? Current energies for Aries person. Why is this death card here? Transformation. What's going on? What's going on? No, that's it. That was the message. Current energies. Two of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. So yeah, your person could have been juggling. They could have been a little bit like holding back or shut down, walls up, distant. I do feel like there is a, a level of them holding on to you um, by their overall energy. I feel like, yes, they were definitely juggling something here. Could be another relationship, could be work, life, relationships. It could be people, places, things, okay? Uh, I just got to throw that out there. Um, I feel like they want it to change. <sighs> Let's see, blockages. What are the blockages here? Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah. 
either an air sign got in between this uh, connection or you're dealing with an air sign. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be. I feel like this person was very unbalanced or rushes in, causes chaos, rushes out, love bombs you, gaslights you, um, empty promises, actions don't match their words. Mm. What else? What else? Blockages. There could have been someone who was very like harsh with their words. Ah, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be dealing with a water sign or a water sign got in the way of this connection. Um, could also be someone... Your person could have had very unstable emotions where they kind of had like emotional outbursts or they were very harsh with their words. They weren't that loving, caring energy um, to them. They could have been keeping secrets or very like mysterious here. All right, we have the lovers, Gemini energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Strength, Leo energy. Someone had a decision in love to make. Is that what was going on here? This person have a choice between you and somebody else and you were like, you know what? You're bringing me in circles, I'm done. That you're not for me. I feel like that romantic gestures, um, getting to know each other, really like opening up to each other and being yourselves with each other. I feel like that was being blocked because this person couldn't give you 100% of themselves. All right. There is some kind of a choice here in love. Um, and then strength, Leo energy, having that confidence, courage. Even courage to stand up for what they really love or who they really love or their emotions, their feelings. This person could be very insecure and that's why they need validation from multiple people to make them feel better and boost their ego. Because if that's a blockage, confidence, courage, strength, self-esteem, I feel like this person just needs to, they could have been in that Queen of Wands energy. The King and Queen of Wands are usually the single pair of the deck, right? <clears throat> and I feel like your person may have been in that like fun, outgoing, flirty, attractive, spontaneous, adventurous type energy. We also have the Knight of Wands here. So was your person being a player? This is Sag energy, I'm not saying Sagittarius is our players, it's just the energy of the card. Uh, <clears throat> Was I feel like your person was, was being a player here. Or you were, but I feel like it was more your person. And you're kind of like, uh-uh, I've had enough. Oh, Aries. All right, let's see. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? They're conflicted. Five of Swords. They're thinking about you, though. They're reminiscing. You may have known this person since childhood, um, this is also like, this is like nostalgia, reminiscing, going back on old memories, you know, really thinking hard about you. Um, and then the page of cups, again, could be an age difference. Doesn't have to be, this person could see you as that fun, youthful, playful, spontaneous, adventurous Aries that you are. They see you conflicted. They see you conflicted here. There could have been like arguments, disputes, tit for tat, one-upping each other, that kind of a thing. This could be internal conflict. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I give them another chance? Do I not? All right. So this may not be the truth, but it's their truth. This is how they see you, their perception of you, okay? What else for Aries? How else do they feel about Aries? How else do they feel? Well, they feel like they match your energy with the King of Wands here. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, we have the King and Queen of Wands, so that's a divine counterpart. There could be this really strong magnetic attraction that you guys are both feeling towards each other, um, which could be why you've been in like cycles with this person, like karmic cycles over and over again. 
Um, I feel like this person rushes in and rushes out, you know, they come in for a little while and then they leave or they, they, I feel like they're just putting you on a roller coaster ride, you know, um, I feel like both of you are very attractive, very flirty and fun, outgoing, born leaders, takes action, that kind of a thing. But this person, I think they have just like an insecurity or an ego, egotistic thing going on. All right, let's see how else. Well, I feel like they want to heal this with you and they're definitely waiting. TikTok. They're waiting for you to make up your mind or make a decision and come towards them. Or they see that you're healing and they know they need to give you time. Can I get one more, please? How do they feel? That's too many. One more, please. How do they feel about Aries? They're watching you. The Seven of Cups wants to come out so bad. <laughs> it just wants to. So I don't know if there's like a lot of confusion going on or this person was just treating you like an option or you felt that way or they feel like you have other options here, but they are definitely watching you. Uh, social media, maybe they're doing like those late night drive-bys at your house. You, Someone's there, what you're up to, asking friends of friends, you know, what's going on with you, trying to figure out if they can come towards you, if it's safe for them to reach out or come towards you or make a move. But I do feel like they're watching to see what you're up to. All right, let's see, potential outcome, potential outcome. Queen of Swords. Now we have the King and Queen of Swords. Very cold, cut off. This is like the broken up couple. <laughs> the divorced or, or separated couple here. The King and Queen of Swords. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So I feel like at one time you guys were very hot and heavy and passionate for each other. And then it kind of went sour and turned more towards being very blunt, cold, cut off emotionally. Um, let me know in the comments, you guys, if that's where you guys are at. We have the tower moment here, uh, scorpionic energy and ace of pentacles for potential outcome. So you started off with a tower. You could be experiencing another tower moment with this person, or this could be saying that that tower moment may have been a little bit of like a wake up call to shake things up, make them come crumbling down, let the truth out, let the, let it all out, you know, um, so that way a new beginning can be had here, a stable, strong new beginning. Cause I feel like your person uh, is kind of in that, like, let me rebuild with you energy. Let me clean it up. All right. I do feel like your person is in that energy. I'm not so sure about you. Aries. Kind of feel a little bit like this is from the last two readings I've done the last two weeks. It's a little similar to that energy. So whoever this is, they're, they're not giving up yet. All right. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Expect communication. There's going to be fast moving communication between the two of you. What else? Aries. Potential outcome. Page of Swords in reverse now. Hmm. I feel like they're going to be realizing something. Page of Swords, pages are messengers or messages. It's also, this one is more of like research, looking into things, stalking, seeing what you're up to, things like that. But it's also like about thoughts, intellectual stuff. Um, and I feel like your person, the communication may not go as planned. I feel like your person is like, Planning this big conversation that everything they want to say to you, but when they finally do talk to you, it's going to come out like word vomit almost, you know, like it's not going to be what they intended it to be or it's not going to go how they wanted it to go. You might 
catch them off guard, throw in a little bit of speed bumps there. You, you know what I mean? I feel like you, you might throw off their communication. Nine of Wands. I do feel like this person is going to continue to fight for this, though. You may have your walls up, your guard up when they do, and that's another reason. They're, I feel like they're going to be expecting like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and you're just going to be very queen of swords. Very emotionally cut off. And I don't think they're expecting that energy from you. Yeah, Knight of Cups and then Ace of Cups, the Emperor. There you are, uh, Aries energy. Yeah, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer here. This person's going to try and make some romantic love offers or gestures. They're trying to come your way. They're probably going to offer some kind of an apology or um, let's go to dinner. Let's talk this through. I love you, Aries. Let's have this new beginning. So there is the potential to have a new beginning in love, balance, structure, practicality, you know, stable emotions here. Um, so there is the chance for that to happen. Use your own discernment. Use your own judgment. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I definitely see this person is going to be coming towards you like with an apology for whatever it was that they did because they want to clean this mess up. They want a transformation here, a change. They feel like this was blessed and they screwed it up. And I don't know yet. Some of you might. It depends. Some of you might. Some of you may not. It's up, it's up to you, you know, but they're definitely going to try. All right, let's see. What's the biggest obstacle Aries is going to have to overcome? Biggest obstacle for Aries. And we will get into that right after this message. I just want to make a fun, exciting announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway, all right? So in order to enter, all I ask is that you please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can like the video, comment below, let me know um, how it's going for you too. I love interacting with all of you as well, but please subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, you are already entered into the giveaway. I am giving away a free iPad Air, um, chakra healing crystal sets, um, tarot card decks, oracle card decks, also, some of my free services like tarot card readings, distance Reiki healing sessions, and hypnosis. So um, check all that out in the description box below. And thank you so much for sticking with me till this part of the video. I really appreciate it. It's not over yet. So enjoy the rest of your reading. All right, Aries, biggest obstacles, understanding. So putting yourself in their shoes or them in your shoes and understanding, almost like that compassion and compromise, uh, seeing things from a different perspective, putting yourself in each other's shoes, understanding the whys, the hows, the wins, all of that, right? Um, so that's going to be a big obstacle here. And then isolation. So if some of you definitely cut this person off and you're, you know, or you're isolating yourself, you're not doing anything, you're just kind of standing in your own energy, um, try to break free from that. All right. I feel like your person may be doing this though. They look really sad in that picture. It's like an ice sculpture crying. I feel like they're like something it's frozen. I guess that's the message I'm getting from that. Like this, it, it's on hold. It's frozen. It's not moving. So until you guys can become on the same page, which could be this page of swords until you guys understand each other and what went wrong. I don't know if it'll move forward. All right. And then stress. That's another big obstacle. The stress of this situation, the stress this person caused, you know, uh, let's see what other messages appreciate your twin appreciates you see the blessings practice appreciation. So yeah, see, they think this is blessed. That's how they're feeling. And it could be blessed, you know, you might be feeling that way, but you just had enough. Cycles, geez, you don't say. <laughs> Momentum force, life cycles, life cycles, stay grounded in the now. This is like your overall energy here, round and round. Right? That's like cycles. What else? What else for Aries? Surrender, detach, trust, free fall, have faith, all will be well. So just let it go. See what happens. Karmic partner. <laughs> I love these cards. <laughs> 
conventional relationship duty bound by societal conventions but i feel like there was lessons here cycles karmic cycles this is definitely what this is you you both had something to learn from this i feel like you learned maybe more of your self-worth how to handle people not to you know have boundaries and all of that and i feel like your person may have learned to not be such a shit and do the wrong thing do right things instead you know um the answer to your question is no so whatever you were the next one is offer and like i said this person is coming towards you to make an offer yep offer gesture engagement wedding rejoice in your union so this person's coming towards you to make some kind of offer you may say no. Some of you may say no. <sighs> Observe. Yeah. Social media fascination. Watching from a distance. They're watching. They're watching you, Aries. All right. What other messages for Aries? Woo. Lots, lots, and lots. Well, there's that transformation card, coffin card. Endings bring new beginnings. The snake. Uh, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other man or woman. So there could have been another person in this that was, you know, giving you trouble, putting their themselves where they don't belong, you know, that kind of a thing could have been going on. Photograph and camera. So photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. And camera, reminiscing keepsake. Yeah, this person's really hung up on you, Aries. Really, really, really hung up on you. Thinking back, old memories, watching you, looking at you. Uh, Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. We already went over that point, so this is the second time that's come out. Uh, palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, Mask, not showing true feelings, high personality, delude gaslighting, uh, that in and out energy or projecting their insecurities onto you. Uh, the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So again, some of you may take this person back, some of you may not. It's up to you. Um, all right, what would this person like to say to Aries if they could? What would they like to say? Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me with your heart again? See? <laughs> Aries, coming back. All right. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. Yes. they. I do feel like they are because they realized what they lost. They lost their Aries, you know? Um so I do feel like they are putting in some work and effort. They they do want to clean this up. Ah, go the distance. Because they want this to be long-lasting with you. But they were being wishy-washy. All wonky. <laughs> anyway, Aries, that is what I have for you for this week. Please subscribe to my channel to be entered into the 10K giveaway. Information's in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to book a personal reading or if you would like to purchase a gift card or anything for the holidays, all of that is in the description box below. All right. And until next time, Aries, love and light. Take care.